फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू बिट फ्यूम्स आई एम योर होस्ट सार्थक एंड दिस इज रिएक्ट सीरीज रिएक्ट बेसिक सीरीज एंड इन दिस एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द फॉर्म्स और हाउ वी कैन हैंडल द फॉर्म एलिमेंट एंड इन रिएक्ट सो लेट्स फर्स्ट क्रिएट अ कंपोनेंट सो आई विल कॉल कंपोनेंट वाया क्लास मेथड सो क्लास एंड माय कंपोनेंट नेम इज फॉर्म uh let's say form test and it will going to extends then react dot component so component and here firstly we have to define the constructor so constructor it will get the props inside constructor we have to define super class so inside props again then this dot state is equal to let's say a value having empty okay so now what we need firstly we have to give render method in which we are going to return we are going to return form so firstly give the form so form is like this okay inside the form we need to give firstly one input so input input type is let's say text then what will be the value value now we are binding the value with our state so here i will say this dot state dot value this will be the value so okay and then on change on change what i am going to do i am going to say this dot handle change Uh, this method we have we have to create in just a few minute but before that let's create a submit button so type input is equal to submit and let's say name uh, not name <laughs> value is equal to go ahead okay so that's very nice and now inside this react dom dot render let's render form test component so everything is set up let's start the server so right click open terminal right npm run watch right oops not watch <laughs> start and it will going to start the server for us okay uh, yeah i think yes okay so it will now going to start the server and yes we can see we have this input box and go ahead uh, button okay submit button so how we can get all these things so firstly we have to prevent this form submission so if i click here you can see it's now refreshed with some question mark in the url because we are having a form and form will going to submit but because we have not given where to submit react or simply the html doesn't know anything so here i will say on submit i will create a new function that will handle this submit so i will simply say handle that should be handle submit okay that's very nice so let's go and create these two so firstly Uh, handle submit. This will be an function, so I will use the arrow function. And here, whenever I am going to submit, what I am going to do? Let's say console dot log. What I am going to log? I am going to log e dot um, target dot value. So target dot value. So we have to get the e. that means the event and then obviously we have to prevent its submission so e dot prevent default and done so let's go to chrome reload the chrome yeah it's already reloaded and hit go ahead and you can see undefined is consoled and not refresh that means this form is not submitted so let's type anything but it's not typing 
why it's not typing? I'm typing, but it's not writing anything inside text box. This is because we are using value as this dot state dot value. So whenever there is a change in this input text box, we have to get a handle change a method or simply function. Then I'm going to say here this dot set state and here I will going to set the state which is value it is going to be e dot target dot value so let's get again the e or the event let's go to chrome and type here anything so I will type hello and it, this time it's typing and when I hit go ahead you can see undefined is here because let's open the react tab and you can see value is hello that's very nice but why it's not consoling anything so instead of this dot target dot value i will say this dot state dot value not target value let's go reload it's already reloaded say hello go ahead and yeah this time hello is on our console so this is very easy to get the form data inside our react system so that's okay but what if i have uh, a instead of text box i have a text area so text area area and in regular html we will type like this text area but because we are on react react has to give text area like this self closing tag and now even in the basic html we don't have any value part for text area but here we have so this dot state dot value and again same thing on change we are going to say this dot dot handle change that's very nice go to chrome and you can see now it's having a text area so whatever i type it will going to be on console hit go ahead and everything is on console so that's very nice what else we have on our form yeah we have a checkbox so instead of doing that what i will do i will undo so that i will get the input tag and i will now change its type text to checkbox simple so go to chrome and now we have checkbox so we can give label it should be label and that label will be like okay so checkbox is here if i check it nothing happened but let's click go ahead it's not having anything why because our value for this checkbox is nothing empty so let's give it false that's okay and reload if i doesn't check it click on go ahead it will give false but if i check it it will give again false why it's happening because we are having on submit console log this dot state dot value and value is not going to change so instead of this whenever i do anything with this checkbox this means this dot handle change i will say value is not of this dot state dot value because our value is false so whenever i check it will become opposite of false that means true so if i go and go ahead it will give false but if i check it and then click it will give true and again uncheck give false pretty easy things but you have to learn because these are the most basic things what else we need the last thing is the select option so select and it's very interesting you know <laughs> select and select once more then we have to give option an option will have a value but this time instead of connecting this to directly to 
value of the react we are giving actually the real value so let's say yeah you are right pikachu pikachu and that should be pikachu okay and now option is closing and inside here i will say pikachu then this one will be aladdin and aladdin once more let's delete this one save this and yeah pikachu is already selected but what if i click go ahead it says false and if i change this it's it again false why is that because we have not attached anything so firstly as you know we have to give value here so because we are on react we have to give value for the select tag and yeah this dot value and this dot state dot value it is connected and obviously on change this dot handle change change has to be spelled correctly <laughs> okay so it is corrected go ahead false changed become true because change handle change is doing opposite of whatever is the value but what if i want to select aladdin by default it's default selected pikachu because it is the first one so what why what i need i need to give just one thing called aladdin inside the state value and now this select option will get the value the selected value as the aladdin and it will match to that option and it will select that so you can see aladdin is now selected instead of it's having on the second option okay but it's on the selected part so this is very nice so aladdin is here so let's give everything on the github so open terminal and close the server i will say git status yeah index.js file is changed so git add all and then git commit with a message of form systems okay so it's committed then git push and in the no time everything is on github.com slash bitfumes slash react tutorials so we have nine commits and the latest one is form system so this is all about the forms and if you have any doubt feel free to message me comment me and don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye